Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Ezekiel 27 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Now thou son of man, take up a lamentation for, si- for Tyrus, and say unto Tyrus, O thou that art situate, situate at the entry of the sea, which art a merchant of the people for many isles, thus saith the Lord God. O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am of perfect beauty. Thy borders are in the midst of the seas. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. They have made all thy ship boards of fair trees of sinner. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for thee. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made thine horse, the company of the Asherites have made the, thy benches of ivory, brought out of the isles of Shittim. Fine linen with bordered work from Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth to be thy sail, blue and purple from the isles of Elisha. was that which covered thee. The inhabitants of Zidon and Arphad were thine mariners, thy wise men, O Tyrus, that were in thee, were thy pilots. The ancients of Gebel and the wise men thereof were in thee, thy thy calkers. All the ships of the sea with their mariners were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. They of Persia and of Lod and of Foot were in thine army, thy men of war, thy ang- they anged the shield and helmet in thee. They set forth their comeliness. The men of Arvad with thine army were upon thy walls, round about, and the, gam- the Gamadims were in thy towers. They hanged their shields upon thy walls round about. They have made thy beauty perfect. Tarshish, Tarshish was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of all kind of riches. With silver, iron, tin, and lead they traded in thy fairs. Devan, Tubal, and Meshech, they were thy merchants. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass in thy market. They of the house of Tagam, Tagarma traded in thy fairs with horses and horsemen and mules. The men of Dedan were thy merchants. Many isles were the merchandise of thine hand. They brought thee for a present horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of the wares of thy making, they occupied in thy fairs with emeralds, purple, and bordered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agate. Judah and the land of Israel, they were thy merchants, they traded in thy markets wheat, and minneth, and panag, and honey, and oil, and balm. Damascus was thy merchant in the multitude of the wares of thy making, for the multitude of all riches in the wine of Elbon and white wool. Dan also and Javan, going to and fro, occupied in their fairs, bright Aaron, Cassia, and Calamus were in thy market. Dedan was thy merchant in precious clothes for chariots, Arabia, and all the princes of Kedar, they occupied with thee in lambs, and rams, and merchant and goats. In these were they thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Rama, they were thy merchants. They occupied in thy fairs with chief of all spices, and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Cane and Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Asher, and Chilmad were thy merchants. These were thy merchants in all sorts of things, in blue clothes and bordered work, and in chests of rich apparel, 
bound with cords and made of cedar among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of thee in thy market, and thou wast replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the sea. Thy, ro thy rowers have brought thee into great waters. The east wind hath broken thee in the midst of the sea. Thy riches and thy fares, thy merchandise, thy mariners, and thy pilots, thy caulkers, and the occupiers of thy merchandise, and all thy men of war that are in thee and in all thy company, which is in the midst of thee, shall fall into the midst of the sea in the day of thy ruin. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of thy cry of thy pilots, the sound of the cry of thy pilots, and all the handle of whore, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea shall come down from their ships, they shall stand upon the land, and shall cause their voice to be heard against thee, and shall cry bitterly, and shall cast up dust upon their heads, they shall wallow themselves in the ashes, and they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee, and gird them with sackcloth, and they shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. And him their wailing, they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and lament over thee, saying, What city is like Tyrus, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea? When thy wares went forth out of the sea, thou fillest many people, thou didst enrich the king, the kings of the earth with the multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise, in the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall, all the inhabitants of the isles shall be astonished at thee, and their kings shall be sore afraid, they shall be troubled in their countenance, the merchants among the people shall is at thee, thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt be any more. Alright guys, so the judgment on Tyrus is being spoken of further here in more detail. And this is to show just how beautiful and how much of a commercial environment and the commercial value of Tyrus to the people. And even though it had this much influence and it was a place of much commercial activity, we see that the Lord is showing that from the greatest to the smallest, will suffer his wrath if they go against the will of God. And we see here that even Israel and Judah did actually do business with Tyrus also. Tyrus is, basic, is basically the merchant city. Okay, that's the main base where business is conducted. It's like a port because it says that it's in the sea. It's at the edge of the sea, so it's basically like a port for people where merchants come and deal in their business. So it's that kind of environment. If you can picture it, no, it would be like a harbor here, somewhere where there's a lot of business taking place, a highly commercialized environment where there's a lot of transactions going on right there's a lot of transactions taking place and that is what this was this was basically the commercialized place that was in the days it was the place of commerce where everybody would come together and they would actually carry out their business right so that just goes to show that you're never too big you cannot have so much affluence that you cannot suffer the punishment of God. So it's best not to contend with him, but to accept him and actually appreciate him for who he is. 
all right and appreciate his people also because it was not because they well they did do something against the lord because the lord had taken israel to be his people but it wasn't something they did directly to him but to his chosen people the, and that is the cause of this vengeance that's been taken out on them okay so guys that's just a warning okay so please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye